People that did this were ever in combat and seen that. How did you know all of those moves? It would be so lifelike. Listening to you. <laughs> research, research, research. Well, all our history, it's worth the trip just to see this. And I don't want to experience that in my here. <laughs> And when I'm in there, I, I'm back to where we were doing it. Yeah. I had the same feelings. You thought the, uh, the sights and the sounds were historically accurate. That's what you experienced on D-Day. Absolutely perfect. You couldn't have, uh, there's no way, and I don't understand how somebody who has never been there yeah. under that situation could re replicate it as true to life as it is. There, there's no flaw. Most anything is replicated, there's flaws. There are no flaws in this. Every movement is perfect. When you're taxiing along the ground, yeah. you feel the movement of the tires. You feel, you hear the sound. Yeah. And you, you feel a little lift when the wheels come off. And then you're looking out the window and you're seeing the, the scenery go by. And then you get up there and you get in formation and you're looking out and see all the planes and then all of a sudden you're in the flak. And the thing is rocking sideways and it's yawing up and down and the flak is coming and, and the noise and it's just, 
it, it just puts you right there. I can imagine that I feel more of that than the other people because they, they've never been there. They don't really know what it was like. You know, to them it's fun, but to me it's real. And I, I, as I said to Michelle, if you're in the United States and you're really interested in history and you want to come over here, that alone is worth the trip. There's no other way you can experience that history than this right here.